my dear brothers and sisters in Christ what is the way to glory and victory in the kingdom of God Jesus told his disciples that he must first suffer his rejection be crucified and then rise again on the third day here Jesus emphasis is on his death and resurrection the disciples still did not understand his true purpose because of their preconceived notions about what the messiah should be this is the first of the three times that jesus predicted his death this prediction of jesus here corresponds to daniel's prophecies about the messiah the messiah would be cut off daniel 9:26 there would be a period of trouble daniel 27 and the king would come in glory daniel 7:13 to 14 the disciples would endure the same suffering as the messiah and like him they too would be rewarded in the end Only a short time ago Peter the most faithful disciple of Jesus had proclaimed the true identity of Jesus and had wanted to protect him from suffering but if Jesus did not suffer and die Peter and the entire human race would perish in their sins this event in Jesus life teaches us that great temptations can come even from those who love us and seek to protect us be cautious of the advice from a friend who says that surely god does not want you to face this trial or endure this suffering often our most difficult temptations come from those who are only trying to protect us from discomfort In his temptations in the desert Jesus had been told that he could achieve greatness without dying here at Caesarea Philippi he heard the same advice from Peter Peter had just proclaimed that Jesus as the Messiah however he abandoned God's perspective and evaluated the situation from a human point of view dear friends satan is always trying to get us to leave god out of the picture jesus rebuked peter for this attitude when jesus used the picture of his followers taking up their crosses to follow him the disciples knew what he meant crucifixion was a common roman method of execution and the condemned criminals had to carry their own crosses through the streets to the execution site following jesus therefore meant a true commitment and the risk of death and not turning back it is true that the possibility of losing their lives was very real for the disciples as well as for Jesus the real discipleship implies true commitment while committing our whole life to his service if we try to save our physical life from death pain or suffering we may risk losing our true eternal life when we try to protect ourselves from the pain we begin to die spiritually and our lives will turn selfish and we lose our goal in life when we spend our lives in service of Christ however we shall discover the real purpose of living the problem we face is that when we do not know Christ we make choices as though this life were all we have we forget that in reality this life is only an introduction to eternity how we live this brief span of life determines our eternal life 
what we can accumulate on earth has no power to purchase eternal life even the highest social or civic honors cannot earn our entrance to heaven evaluate all that happens from an eternal perspective and you will find your values and decisions changing in conclusion jesus christ has been given the authority to judge all although his judgment is already working in our lives there is a future final judgment when christ will come return and everyone's life will be reviewed and evaluated baptism is not a guarantee for our eternal destiny but jesus will look at how we have handled the gifts opportunities and responsibilities in order to determine our heavenly rewards at the same time of judgment god will deliver the righteous and condemn the wicked we shall not judge others but leave it to the lord to do so god bless you all for further updates subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon thanks for watching